Hi guys, welcome to Investing with JYK. And then as you can see, this is on the phone. A um, couple of things. One is US market has done quite well for the past couple of months. And uh, a lot of attention is paid to that. And then um, I think on the other side of the globe, the Chinese market has actually done pretty well as well recently, probably better than the US one. And we know that the Chinese market has not done well in 2018 because of the trade war and everything. The top happened at around uh, beginning of 2018. And then remember there was a drop in, in February and then that's that. And then it just kept on going down. And um, by the beginning of the year, I was, for the entire year, I was up only 1%, 1.7, something like that. So that, that, was a, that was a 1%, yeah, 1.7%. And by the end of the, by now, it's I'm up like 37%. So, uh, so yeah, I have, there's been a, uh, tremendous up side i don't really know what happened but that's that i mean there's a lot of liquidity things going on in china they have lowered the reserves and everything but and then the, the valuations are still cheap um and i'm also showing off just that for the past two years and that's as far as the thing goes back uh, the the chinese uh, population generally have trouble holding stocks over weekends. So two years is as long as this thing goes back. I outperform by 34%. Ta -da! But uh, that that 34% outperformance is mostly coming from 2017. This year, I am only on top of the Shanghai composite by 1%. So you can see the two lines almost completely uh, uh, overlap for the entire year. I'm just keeping on, not really outperforming this month, uh, this year. But the, yeah, so that's the Chinese market. Um, so what's the takeaway, I guess? I mean, I was able to sit through that two year drawdown i mean from the top of the range until now i had a huge drawdown of like 20 something percent not huge pretty big drawdown and i was able to hold it because i bought good companies that i think will continue to outperform in the future and my two biggest holdings is um gree the air conditioner something that grows at 20%, sells at 8P, and pays a uh, decent dividend, except last year where the, 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 the CEO got bitter with stockholders, um, and uh, Ping An Insurance, where it's also growing at like 10 to 15, 10 to 20%, I think, in terms of earnings, and probably understated their earnings as well, and then um, uh, their... Uh, uh, and, and then there's the this whole um, tailwind of uh, insurance because before the in the past the Chinese population aren't very keen on uh, insurance because there is nothing to insure they have no assets nobody had anything and I think the whole insurance thing really started kicking off in like the, the late two thousands when people started actually accumulating assets and. In terms of agree, uh, uh, they already own about like 40, 40, 30 percent of the air conditioner market. So um, in terms of market share, there's probably not that much to be gained. But the uh, people also say that the, 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 you know, the market is already saturated and everything. But, you know, if you look at Japan and China, the, the Chinese are far from reaching that level as soon as they get any. Uh, income, they will buy air conditioners. I think in 2017, uh, there's less than one air conditioner per family uh, in, in China. 
so per household so that's china and then just an update it's not nothing really profound here and it's more ramble because i don't want to be coding mm -hmm. see you next time <laughs>